couple researchers in Indiana will soon be able to study the effects of magic mushrooms after state lawmakers gave them the green light this past session. You might be skeptical, but some doctors do believe that the drug in them could treat mental health conditions like anxiety, addiction, and depression. And Gina Glero sat down with a Hamilton County mom who says it is life-changing. I was completely clueless that there were other options like For that. For years, obsessive compulsive disorder held Caroline Hagedorn captive. She couldn't go in her own backyard. It's really robbed me a lot of joy and time in my life. It's been a big struggle for me. Intrusive thoughts made a typical day for this stay at home mom almost impossible. Driving places would take me twice as long I, due to circling back and rechecking behaviors that I would have. Contamination fears controlled her life. Emptying the dishwasher would be difficult for me and emotionally taxing and putting away laundry would be difficult. And forced her to quit her job. Being a nurse in a hospital and contamination fears don't mix very well. And so I had to step away from that, you know, due to my OCD. Medications didn't work. Hagedorn was desperate. She and her husband watched a documentary about a clinical trial on psilocybin, described as a natural psychedelic. It gave me hope. I didn't have a whole lot of hope that there would be something that could work for me. I felt like I had tried everything, so I applied for it and I got accepted. She went to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, where she was assigned to medical experts. And got to know me and my OCD very well. She completed two doses of psilocybin. Doctors say the treatment interacts with the person's serotonin, which is a chemical that carries messages between the nerve cells in the brain and throughout the body. Researchers believe psilocybin changes the binding activity of serotonin receptors, reducing symptoms of OCD. The second dose was extremely impactful and life-changing for me. She describes raw emotions and imagery. I always knew I was on a couch in a clinical trial with psilocybin and very grounded the entire time. I remember after the session was over, my husband came in. And I remember looking at him and saying, I don't know if I'm going to have OCD when I leave this room. She hasn't for several months, and she's no longer on any medication. Hagedorn testified last month at the Indiana State House, supporting a bill to provide money for psilocybin studies to Indiana research institutions like IU and Purdue, and lawmakers listened. My compulsions that were taking me hours of my day are now just minutes, and sometimes there are some days where I don't have any at all. Telling her emotional journey. It has given me so much time, joy back in my life that I did not have before. To help whoever she can. In Hamilton County, Gina Galeros, 13 News. Hagedorn told Gina that she took a capsule version of psilocybin. Yeah, and this law goes into effect July 1st. We reached out to IU and Purdue, and right now there are no talks of applying for funding for a clinical study. But however, they are open to discussing that idea in the future.